it's Mrs. Ali from the Eastern Iowa Arts Academy and I have a new art project for you. Enjoy! Today we're going to be drawing a kraken. So a kraken is a made-up creature that lives in the ocean and it's basically like a big octopus or squid that takes over ships. Um, if you've seen Pirates of the Caribbean, they have a kraken in that movie. Um, so we're going to start with these big octopus or squid tentacles and then we'll add a ship. So we're going to start with this big octopus or squid tentacle. So we're going to start in this bottom right corner and we're going to curve that way until you're about halfway up your paper. Make sure you're leaving a space there. So big curve line. And then we're gonna curve around to make kind of a hook. So we're gonna go up, around, and down. So we've got a big hook shape. So now we're gonna do another line just like that to connect it. So we're gonna start, say about two inches, and we're gonna do a similar line. So we're gonna try and do a similar curve that we did before. So we're going to curve up. Now I'm going to start to kind of taper it in until it gets smaller. So I don't want it to stay the same width the whole way around. I'm going to make it gradually get smaller. So I'm gradually getting closer to this other line. So now I'm going to make my hook again. Curving around and connect at the end. Now we're going to do a third one. So this is going to be where the tentacles go. So I'm going to start here and go down this time. So this is much closer together. And then I'm going to slowly get bigger. Something like that. Oh, sorry. Uh, this is my cat, Shadow. He likes to lay on my drawings while I'm drawing. Say hi to Shadow. Sorry about that. Okay, so next we're gonna add some circles to be the little suction cup parts of the tentacle. So we're gonna add, actually they're ovals. I'm gonna add an oval down here. So it's kind of touching the side of this line. And then we're gonna do another oval inside of it. And then down here, we kind of have space. You would see another one, but only like maybe half of it. So we're gonna do a half uh, oval and then half an oval on the inside. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna leave space and then do another one. I'm just gonna let him sit there for a minute. So we're going to do another little half oval inside and then we're going to do the same thing on the left, so half and half. Sorry, he likes attention. Alright, next we're going to do another one. So the left space did an oval. And then we're gonna do another one on this side. Just a little bit of that center oval is gonna show. So now that it's starting to taper in more, we're gonna see, we won't see that other oval really anymore. You might see just barely the edge of it. So then for the rest of our ovals, they're just going to gradually get smaller. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing to make another tentacle. Um, this one, we're going to make here, it's going to curve the opposite direction. So we're going to start with the outside edge. So we're going to leave probably like a one inch space here on the edge of your paper. 
we're going to curve this way this time. It's kind of like you're making a little heart, but this one's going to be smaller. Then I'm going to add a hook going around, and then I'm going to connect this back down. And then we're going to add that inside part for the tentacle. So this is going to be smaller this time. And I kind of ran into my other one. That's okay. Just pretend it goes behind it if that happened to you. And then comes back out. Then we're going to add our same little suction cup circles with another one inside. We're gonna add one more of these to the edge. So you only see part of this one. So we're gonna add three more tentacles. I know they would have eight, but we're pretending you just can't see them all. So we're just gonna add some smaller ones in the background that would be like coming at the ship from the other side. So we're going to add one that goes in between these two. So you'll only see little parts of it. So just kind of add a curvy line here and then it's going to come out this other side. However you want to curve it. Leave a space here though in the middle for your ship. And we're gonna add one on this side too. I'm gonna add just a line down here so you can kind of see that there's the end of one. It's gonna come back out here. I'm just gonna have it curve around over this side. But again, I'm leaving a space here for my ship. I'm gonna make this a little bit more pointy. And then I'm gonna add one more here on the edge. If you have room, you can. If you don't have room, that's okay. So mine's gonna kind of curve that way. And then it's gonna come back out on this side. And then I'm just gonna show the edge of it right there. All right, so next we're gonna add our ship to the middle. So we're gonna have it sit kind of on this tentacle. So we're gonna add a curved line. Just a big U line. And then connect it. So that's not as curved. And we're gonna add the mast. We're gonna add some sails on the side. So these are basically just some triangles that connect. I like to add an extra line here. So just a little curved line right there on that side of the pole. And then a tiny curved line on that side. And then if you want, you can add some little windows down below. So it's just a circle inside a circle. All right, so we are done drawing our Kraken. Um, it's up to you how you want to color it in. Um, there's, since it's a mythological creature, I've seen pictures of them that they're, you know, kind of a reddish orangish color. Some are pink looking, some are more blue looking. You could make it whatever color you want, up to you. Um, if you want to color it similar to mine, I traced everything um, with a black color pencil, or you can use a pen or a marker first, so I traced all my pencil lines. And then these, I used a red-orange um, tentacle, or uh, a red-orange color pencil on the tentacle. 
and I just colored this part lighter so I didn't press down as hard. And then this back one I used just a plain red color pencil and made it as dark as I could. That way it looked similar but it's like farther back in the space. And then my background I just did with a blue color pencil. I just colored lightly and then gradually got darker as I went down to the bottom of the ocean. And so this would just be a dark, you're just pressing harder with your blue to make it darker to give it that ombre effect. So I hope you had fun drawing your Kraken today. Have fun coloring in the rest. Bye.